Malaria is one of the most ancient diseases of humanity, affecting people for as long as we know, and it still kills hundreds of thousands of people every year. Every few minutes a child dies of malaria. By the time this film has ended, there will have been another death. This could be prevented if we had a vaccine that protects people against malaria. Vaccines can wipe out diseases. Smallpox is gone and polio is almost defeated. It is now our quest to develop a truly effective vaccine to prevent malaria. Malaria is caused by a parasite that is injected into our bodies from an infected mosquito. The parasite lives inside the human liver and then the human blood, where it grows and divides. While in the blood, it causes the sometimes deadly symptoms of malaria. To defend us against invaders like malaria parasites, our bodies make antibodies. Antibodies help our immune systems to detect and clear invaders before they make us ill. But the malaria parasite has a solution. It gets inside human blood cells, where it hides from antibodies and multiplies in secret. An essential part of the machinery that the parasite uses to invade blood cells is a molecule called RH5. This binds to a molecule in the red blood cell called basogen. Antibodies that stop RH5 from binding to basogen leave the parasites trapped outside the red blood cells where they're destroyed. Vaccines contain pieces of invaders. These train our immune systems to make antibodies. If we know which part of RH5 is targeted by the most effective antibodies, we can use this as a vaccine. This will prepare the body to make the best antibodies, stopping us from getting malaria. To do this, we needed to work out exactly what RH5 looks like. For this, we used a huge machine called a synchrotron. The synchrotron is used to fire a beam of X-rays at a crystallised array of many copies of RH5. The way that the X-rays are deflected when they hit the sample allows us to work out what RH5 looks like. At the same time, vaccine trials took place in Oxford, injecting a vaccine containing RH5 into volunteers, causing their bodies to make protective antibodies. We discovered that the antibodies that bind to two key parts of RH5 are the most effective. We are now making a new vaccine containing these parts of RH5. Humans immunised with this vaccine are expected to make the highest quality antibodies. Our improved vaccines will be tested in controlled clinical trials in volunteers, those that work will be tested in areas of Africa where malaria is a major threat. Our dream is a vaccine that will help many millions of people throughout the globe. We hope that our studies of RH5 are allowing us to take an important step towards this dream.